All right, what's going on, guys? G.Dog Casey here, bringing you some StarCraft II Legacy of the Void ladder action. Um, I feel like I need to incorporate some more StarCraft II in my YouTube quote-unquote career because StarCraft II is just like, it's been ingrained in my heart for so long now that I feel like uh, I haven't been putting out any content on YouTube, and this is something that you guys are, uh, you know, a lot of people who subscribe to the channel uh, may have come because of some, uh, some StarCraft stuff I've done in the past, so... This should be something for you guys and for me as well. And we're just going to do one ladder game per video and just play it out. So this is going to be a ZVT coming up. Now I have to preface this by saying that I haven't played like in, in a little while, maybe like a few weeks at least. Um, so I'm a little bit, going to be a little bit rusty, but I don't care. I jump right into the ladder. All right. Also, you guys are definitely going to be hearing my keyboard. There's nothing I can do about that. So the goal here is to play a macro style if we can I'm gonna put you over here and this guy he's gonna come I just want to see what he's building on his ramp thrones out we'll definitely be going hatch first Careful not to bump into a marine over here. But I would like to see what he's got going on. So from here we should be able to escape if we need to. This overlord is going to go over here. Okay, so the barracks is only... St what? Did he go CC first? It's a really late barracks. So he either went like gas first or CC first. I'm guessing it's probably command center first. Yeah, alright, so I see the command center. We can go over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my initial two queens. I'm going to pull out a gas here. Send them down here. Two queens, three lanes, and speed. It all times out relatively nicely. We are fully saturated here. And we're going to make two more queens, and then we're going to go out and take a third. I think that's probably... Some people would say that's too late, and, and you definitely have an argument there. But I feel better about myself when I have all the wings, all the queens out. It'll definitely help in a defense. So we're droning up behind all this though. We got six links to just put a little bit of pressure. His barracks is really late, so we might actually be able to get a tiny bit of damage done. But I'm not quite convinced on that yet, because he is making the bunker right away. So these guys are here. We're gonna go queen queen. And we're gonna Okay, he's already got guys in the bunker. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to take a third. And once speed finishes, we will look into some other things a little bit. Take the third. Start threading some creep and continue making drones for now. I'm gonna need some overlords here in a minute. there by mistake and this guy's gonna be able to go up there okay continue to make drones get a couple guys in gas here this is our creep queen and I want to kind of run up here and just get a look at third command center okay so he's going heavy macro as well. So I actually don't mind this. We're going to get our lair. We're going to get a couple Evo Chambers and a Baneling Nest. As soon as we can afford it. 
We don't have a lot of gas. That's an issue. Want to make sure we don't get killed by Hellions. gas pretty badly here. Got three over there, two over here. And did I ever end up making that being like this? No, of course not. Alright, get some OBs out. Make a few more. I probably should have made links there. I actually am pretty worried that I didn't. Because that might get me into a little bit of trouble. But I guess we'll have to see. Getting those upgrades. Not going to start to spire right away. Uh, but what I should definitely do... There's the Banshee. Uh, he might have... Shit. I think I started this a little bit late. I'm actually not too worried about that. Did lose some drones though. Get Banelink speed. And we'll definitely be making a spire. I'm gonna make a rattlings. And these guys are gonna turn into Banelings in case I need them. I'm not really getting any good scouting in. So I saw the Banshee. He might be going for this like super heavy Banshee play that I've seen quite a bit of in the past, and we're going to be droning up here. Alright, try to spread some of this creep here. And again, just drones over here. We need to get our gases. He is going for the third base, so he's not... Okay, he's going into bile. Perfect. You know what? That's all I really need to see. I don't even care about anything else. I know he's not going into like a heavy, like only Banshee style play that I have seen in the past. Okay, so... With all of this said, I'm pretty happy with what's going on. I'm gonna take that out. I think I need to get three guys over here. Make a bunch of overlords now. I'm gonna get overlord speed just because I might need it. Continue to spread this creep. Keep an eye on the minimap to see things. Keep injecting. We're gonna actually take our fourth base as soon as we can. Alright, that was plus one, plus one finishing, so we'll get started on plus two, plus two. Gonna get some mutas out. As soon as we can here. Continue to spread this creep. This is gonna be huge later on in the game when he's trying to, like, push across the map. And we can see things like this. Maybe get one of them. Alright, we got one of them. That's okay. So I'm going to make a handful of Banelings, because I know there's a lot of bio coming with all the barracks I saw I'm building. So uh, let's get this as part of the control group as well. I'm going to get guys and gas over here. Make some more of these, and we're going to pump out as many meters as we can here. Put them on hotkey 2. This guy can go on hotkey 3 now. Killed a bunch of active tumors. I don't care too much about that. Eventually I'm going to have Mutas out. In fact, I'm going to add this to the Muta Hockey. Okay, here we go. So we need Lings. And again, this is where the uh, creep spread is really helping. He's. I'm not too worried about what we have to deal with here. We have Bane Link Speed. Plus two, plus two is not done yet, so we're not going to be able to use that. But, I mean, I can even send the... Like, I can just kill this Banshee right here. As long as I don't... Oh, okay. Alright, don't really want to do that. Okay, so... We're about to have plus two, plus two. I forgot the infestation pit. That's a bit of a mistake. Come down here. I do still have some creep tumors that I can use. Alright, he's kind of sieging up over there. Okay. Well, let's get some more mutas out because 
I'm gonna want that. Alright, those guys are dead. And here's the thing, like, he- oh, I need a, another queen. Where's that other queen gonna come out over here? Alright, keep an eye on the minimap, making sure that I can do this. I see another force moving out. A bunch of uh, marauders and siege tanks and things. So yeah, I think the decision to go for some more mutas was a good idea. And we're just gonna try to catch him unawares now. I don't know if he's gonna have turrets. He might. We're gonna go find out. Yeah, he's pushing out too, so I might actually have to bring these mutas back, but I wanna just check really quick, see if I can. No, I'm not gonna be able to. Alright, never mind. We have plus two, plus two. Okay, let's uh let's take care of this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap around. Uh, that definitely did not work. We lost so many banelings there. Holy crap. I don't know how we lost so many banelings. Oh, we're in trouble now. That was a terrible engagement. We're gonna come up behind with our mutas and kill as many of these siege tanks as we can. Definitely lost that base. Whoa, we're losing a lot over here. Try to kill as many of these as we can. Again, we're gonna try to take out these tanks and just try to keep reinforcing, but oh, this is a scary push. Wow, I didn't expect to lose so many mainlings in that push. I guess he got some mega, uh, he must have got some crazy awesome tank shots or something. We, I mean, we have Hive now, but we don't have any more mutas. <laughs> this is probably not gonna work out for us. I hear things loading up. Alright, well, let's see what we can do here. Need the money shots. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Alright, well, he got us. So that was a pretty well played game by him. I feel like we we're in a position that we could have won that game, but I guess it, it was that engagement that I thought was a good one, but it wasn't a good one. I should have let him push on to Crete more. He was an ex-Masters. Um, if we take a look at the... What is this? Uh, at the graphs and the army value, you can see where I... See, I had a better army, but I just lost it all. Terrible engagement, I guess. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. It was a pretty decent game to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.